day one, I presented our gameplay team with what I thought was almost an impossible task, and that was to make our game look and feel way better than it ever has in the past. A major theme for us this year was this idea of the living world. Typically in basketball games, every team has kind of felt the same. You know, you get some signature moves, some players here and there, but overall teams have felt the same. We wanted everything in the court, from the, the way the fans react to you, the coaches, the player intelligence, everything to be part of this environment that was smart. The system is dynamically changing and evolving constantly. All 30 coaches now have their own mindset. If you look at the finals last year, you saw how the Warriors and the Cavs were constantly readjusting to each other. You saw Delhi step up and play starter minutes, and you also saw how the Warriors went small ball and how successful that was for them. Basketball is a game of situations, the way players react to you as they see schemes on the floor, the way the coaches can see the patterns that you're trying to do and recognize it and adapt to it. In the regular season, Greg Popovich may give you just his base general pick and roll defense, but say you have success in game one of the playoffs versus them, Game two is gonna be entirely different. All these things make you have to step up to the challenge and come up with ways to solve these problems. Fundamentally, every single game relies on a good motion system and basketball is no different. Situational movement gives the players the ability to detect when and how to move around the floor. It allows our players to detect opportunities. So with Steph Curry, you're gonna see him come off an off-ball screen to get open at the three-point line if the opportunity presents itself. If it's not there, he's gonna to cut to the basket and deviate the plan. He's not stuck in anything. He can continually evaluate the floor. Things like that we can never do before. And now with this new system, we can do those things. We really feel like the X's and O's of NBA basketball have never been replicated this true to form ever before. All player-to-player -player collisions between the ball handler and the on-ball defender is all driven by physics now. So a guy like LeBron, who's kind of like a tank, can just plow through the smaller defenders. The collisions feel a lot more visceral, and you never feel locked into an animation. We've also expanded our signature size of functionality. So now every player has up to four size ups they can do in any direction, and they look and feel beautiful. The post this year was completely rewritten from the ground up. The guys did a phenomenal job of just making it feel a lot more free. You feel like you have complete control over your player at all times. For NBA 2K16, we implemented a foot planning technology that detects exactly when your toe touches the floor and when it leaves the ground. What this does is actually it adds visual authenticity to player movement and you can actually feel the physics, change in direction, cutting, overall player velocity. In the end, it gives us this visual authenticity in the game. And on the sticks, now we have three dedicated pass buttons that give you instant access to any pass type you'd want to throw. So bounce passes, flashy passes, lobs, alley-oops. This is easily the best looking, the best feeling, and the most realistic 2K basketball we've ever made. Well, winning is not a sometimes thing, it's an all the time thing. So this year, we have to top what we did last year. NBA 2K16 is going to be the smartest game of basketball we've ever made. It's going to have the most realistic physics you've ever seen in a basketball game. It's going to have storylines from game to game that change all the time. I can't speak highly enough of our gameplay team and what our engineers pulled off this year. They really pulled off the impossible. NBA 2K16 is going to be the most authentic sports gaming experience that you've ever played.